Hello everybody and thank you for uh, choosing to watch our presentation. So the paper was written by myself, uh, Jamie Goggins and my colleague Dr Magdalena Hadjukevich. Uh, but we're going to um, bring in some friends here to help us with the presentation. So some community partner, a community partner and some uh, students as well that uh, were involved in the community engaged learning. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. It's important that universities are part of the community and they can um, educate new responsible citizens who are aware of their communities, of the needs and challenges of the communities and can help, help them uh, face those challenges. I think it's important for the university to engage with the community as it gives a chance for uh, students and community partners to learn from each other. Um, so you get to use university knowledge and community experience and try and come up with real world um, solutions to problems. By engaging with the local communities, they will feel like they are being appreciated. And the university is just not just an institution that just do education. They have to know the university is ready to contribute to them. Community engaged learning and teaching are academic approaches that seeks to engage and accredit students within the curriculum for working in partnership with civic and civil society organisations to act on local societal challenges. I think uh, community based learning is using academic knowledge and learning from the community and trying to combine the two. It's going to do a few work and then you apply your knowledge you learn in the classes and along with the community partner, you communicate with them to see what they want and you apply your knowledge. The, the whole thing about experiential learning is, is, is key to this, so you've come at it from a different viewpoint, I come at it from a different viewpoint from a policing uh, perspective and some of the other people that work with us, you know, whether they're in the city council or they're looking at managing budgets and projects or if it's the RNLI or the Coast Guard who are very uh, structured in, in, in their view. So we all have different viewpoints and we view it through different lenses and that's the great thing about a project like this. We sit down with the students, we engage with them, we tell them, uh, we set out our rough parameters in terms of what it is we're hoping to achieve, and then the students come back and say, well, maybe we can look at it this way and that way. So bringing everybody together and uh, taking a shared view of what it is that we're hoping to achieve, I think is the best way. It's probably the essence of what the whole community learning is about because it's not prescriptive. Uh, you set out broad parameters and the project takes on a life of its own. It's probably organic and that. So again, from our perspective, it adds real value to that project because everybody has been listened to and everybody's view has been taken on board. I think it was good to learn about the local area and take more like responsibility from the community, like be more responsible like a citizen within the community. So um, you kind of learn about areas you might know about, maybe like water safety or if you did like a GAA club, maybe like learn about like community spirit that way. And then also working with the team, like the other students in the class as well. Uh, interacting with students um, is a really, really good experience. Just being able to talk uh, to them about the real project that they have. They always get very excited about their projects. So uh, it's great to, to be able to help them solve the problems that they have uh, in their in their project. Uh, also interacting with the community partners and hearing from them about the experience of working with the students. It's always a very positive experience and uh, the community partners are really, uh, really grateful for the opportunity to work with the students and for the results, the project results that they get at the end. Uh, and very often they use those results so it's a really, really positive experience uh, from both working with the students and also with the, with the partners. This is the process that we got through for the Community Engaged Building Engineering Project and we got through each of these steps now one by one. I definitely advise them to work in a project that they're interested in. So in my group, we were all swimmers or subaqua and I did lifeguarding. So um, when we saw the water safety project, like we knew that was one we wanted to do. And then because we were interested in it, we put in more effort and kind of got more, like learned more from our 
project. So benefit both us and like the community partners in the end. Number one of the absence of the uh, of a proper search and rescue get rid of it. But number two, when the students identify suitable locations, so we're then able to go along to the city planners and be able to say this is a piece of research that has been undertaken by the college uh, independent of us and it's been undertaken by the engineering school. So they have uh, they have checked out and they've gone through their, their, their bits and pieces in terms of establishing the best possible location for a site. So that gives us uh, an independent piece of quality research that we can present to the council. Uh, which helps us then in driving and promoting these different um, Obviously want, we wanted a good project, we wanted to do something a bit different, um, but you are able to make it your own, uh, you're able to look for your own projects if you need one at home that you want to modify and you know help out with a local group, so you're able to choose your own learning outcomes from it to an extent, obviously, because at the end of the day, you still have to make a presentation, you still have to make a report. For our project brief, everyone in the class was given six learning outcomes by the lecture, and we all had the same six, and then each group had to come up with three ourselves. So, because my group were design and science, our three learning outcomes were to um, research the different materials the science could be made from and try and find the best material and then also to research renewable energy and forms that we could use to light up the signs. And then the third one was to analyse the statistics on like drownings and water safety in the city and try and find the best locations to put the signs. If we didn't have that, um, like the expectations mightn't have been as high for either the community partner or for the group so we might not have put in as much effort whereas we knew that the community partner had high expectations as the group ahead of us had done really well like the year before with a similar project so it kind of helped to push us to keep moving on it. Um, I'd say the most challenging aspect was probably the self-directed learning because every group in the class had a different projects so you couldn't really ask other people what, like, what are you doing because you'd all be doing different things. Uh, I think for the most challenging part for the project was it's hard to arrange a suitable time for like meetings. Even among the, uh, the friends, among the three of us, like we are college students, we have like, different schedules as well. And then the community partner, they have like different working time. So we have the classes ongoing, 9 to 5, and they have the working time, 9, nine to 5. So it's kind of like clashes because we have classes and they have work ongoing. So we have to arrange a really good timing to meet each, each other to do the on-site inspection. Uh, the drop clinics were really useful because you could ask PhD students more specific uh, questions that would be specific to your project so I know for us we had to design foundations and we hadn't done that yet in concrete or steel so they recommended different websites we could use and input data that could be helpful to so yeah from the start uh, we were able to get help from master students which was really useful because we wanted to do something a bit different with our project and they had the experience uh, with the software that we wanted to use uh, also, we were given lots of different case studies of previous projects that had been done by students. So you get a good idea of what has come before, sort of similar ideas that you could build on, or if something had never been done before, you could get an idea. So uh, at the end of the project, we had to produce an in-detail report for both the college and our community partners. And we had to present this on a certain date and then the week after that we had to give a 15 minute presentation for uh, the university and then um, we had like questions and answers after that why we decided to do certain things in the project so maybe like what why did we choose a certain material or a certain lighting system for the signs or why like certain locations so we had to be able to back up like our choices along the way with the project. So we were based on two main things. One was project writing and the other was a presentation that we had to make to our lecturers and a few different master students. Um, 
it was good because in this project, uh, I, you actually get to choose what you want to do, uh, how you're going to solve these issues. So writing the report was a lot more interesting because it's not something that we were told how to go about it. It was something that I felt like I'd become like an expert in a really niche subject for a few weeks. So writing the report was actually quite fun because I was getting all this information out of my head onto a page and realized what I'd learned in the last few weeks. And similar with the presentation, I thought it was really interesting to be able to get a question asked by a lecturer who is an expert in the field and feel, oh, I can actually answer this and give a pretty decent answer. I don't feel like I'm fumbling and, you know, pulling a random answer out just to get the questions to stop. If they thought they put in a lot of work, they might have said very good with learning outcomes or like the solutions they came up with. And then also the lecture had a similar sheet and they filled in how they thought the student did. So from very good to maybe not so good. And then at the end, you got the two sheets back so you could compare um, kind of what, how you thought you did to how the lecture thought you did. So it was good to get some feedback. The engagement of the students, uh, how seriously they took the project. Uh, once they had an understanding of what it is that we were about, so we spoke about the search and rescue, we spoke about the recovery, and then we spoke about the third aspect, which is the education and awareness. And uh, some of the projects that they've undertaken have fallen into either of those three strands. So when we tell them why the focus of our attention is in this particular issue, uh, and the reason for us then is that we can go back then to our partners in the likes of Gordon City Council, or to the RNLI, or to the Coast Guard, for example, when we did the, the, a recent study was on the, the suitability of a, a particular site above the sand when we were bridging Galway for, a, for an additional a search and rescue centre so we get to launch a boat from. That was a very, very practical and real um, a, engagement with the student body which, if it comes to fruition, would provide a fantastic asset to search and recovery in the Galway area. So it's having real projects that are worthwhile. But again, it comes back to the proper engagement with the student body and with the, the, the teachers and the academics in the college. Uh, having a project that is of value to your organisation, I think, brings it all together. So that was great getting to Garda Superintendent Kevin Gately's reflection on uh, interacting and the cooperation of, of the students. We can see here um, from the, the graphs and the surveys over the last eight or so years that, in general, community partners either found uh, the interaction, communication and cooperation of students either to be excellent or, or good uh, in there in general. Um, and we can see that uh, almost all the community partners that responded to our surveys would uh, work with the students, uh, students again, with a uh, few that were undecided at the time. So from that perspective, students look at things differently and they're inquisitive by their nature uh, and in de de dealing with these projects and doing the projects. So they're, they're great in terms of how they'll ask the direct questions and how they'll just, you know, they'll, they'll wrap it up in a nutshell in terms of what it is that they want and we might be skirting around the issue. So they're very direct in their approach, um, but there is learning in it for them as well, I think. So the feedback from the community partners over the years is that they find the reports to be generally either very useful or, or useful and that many of the community partners will carry out the recommendations from the students. That's very interesting considering that the students are only in their second year of their engineering degree program um, with not a lot of practical experience at, at that stage. So can I say if you empower the students it's amazing what they can what they can deliver. Uh, overall I thought it was like very enjoyable because kind of got out from the university setting and got to explore like the wider community and then you weren't just learning from maybe like lecture slides or like books you got to research what you thought was important for the project and areas that interested you and your team so it was nice that like you got to do work that you're really interested in whereas sometimes you kind of had to do work just for exams and you mightn't really be too in interested in it so I thought that was a nice part of the module Particularly a very, really, really good experience for me. I learned loads of stuff, like assessing the buildings, everything, and to the writing of the report, how we did mod the modeling, finding the rec best recommendation for them. Everything's brand new. Learned a lot of stuff, uh, looking out for the community partner at the same time, uh, 
going through all the information. It's a bit of good experience.